I started hitchhiking in backpacks five years ago, worked our way into a minivan, then worked our way into a conversion van, and now to have this space is such a blessing. Hello Snack Pack, welcome back to Travel Snacks. Today's episode is a sneak peek into what nomads do when they get together. In today's video, you'll get to meet two of my new nomad friends. We also get an unexpected tour of a little blue school bus and what started out as just breakfast ends up being an all day affair. There's a lot packed into this episode, so let's jump right in. All right, I woke up in Carlsbad, California in a residential street and today, wow, was blasting my heater last night to get it warm in here. Today I'm going to meet with two of my new nomad friends, Adriana and Sandra. We're meeting in a section of San Diego called Ocean Beach and I'm very excited. I think we're gonna have breakfast or at least coffee for sure. I'm about 30-ish minutes away so let's get on the road. <laughs> Once they get here, we'll go park in those spots and go find some breakfast. Oh, I think I see Adriana. She's parking next to me. Hi, Adriana. Hello, friend. Good morning. Thank you for welcoming, welcoming me in San Diego. Yes, indeed. Yay. Meeting new friends is great. And you know what else is great? Becoming part of the snack pack, which is actually just like making new friends, which is a win-win for everybody. All you gotta do is hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, throw a like on this video, and keep watching till the end. And you will see a beautiful sunset and some delicious food. All right, we're rolling out. We're all here and we're gonna go on Newport Street and Ocean Beach. There's a lot of street parking. It's free for two hours and then we're gonna go have breakfast. I've had plenty of great food in Ocean Beach, but never really a sit down breakfast restaurant. So my friend Angel, who lives in Ocean Beach, recommended trying the old townhouse restaurant. So I thought I would take the girls there and give it a try. When we walked in, it had a great atmosphere and it seemed kind of like an old diner style and I really liked that. So we sat right in the front and of course just started talking away. It was like we had been friends for years. Between nomad life and YouTubing, we had a lot to talk about. We talked so much that I forgot to film the breakfast as it came to the table, but I got the two egg breakfast, which I ate almost the whole plate. Sandra got the biscuits and gravy and Adriana got the vegetarian eggs benedict. All of it was delicious. We were having so much fun that after breakfast, we decided to go down to the beach and take a walk. This is Newport Avenue and there are lots of great restaurants. Many I haven't even tried yet, but I wanted to point out this one little restaurant called Mike's Taco Club and the line is usually super long but there's a good reason because they have delicious tacos now along the beach there's a pier and there's also a section for street vendors where they're selling all kinds of different things usually handmade as we were walking along a beach we came across this little blue school bus and i thought the we love you sign in the window was a nice touch i also like that they had a donation box on the side of their van so i went to put in a donation and that's when i noticed the owner of the vehicle getting into the school bus yeah. Is yeah. it gonna be okay if we all stick our cameras? That, that's fine. 
This is Harmony. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, we just finished converting it. Uh, my dad is a carpenter, so he did all the woodwork and everything in here. Um, I love the colors. Thank you so much. What was your name? My name's Daisy. Nice to meet Hi. you. I'm Allison. Nice to meet you. I live in a van too. Awesome. We all live in vehicles. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's cool to see other people's faces. I'm so into uh -huh. it. Yeah, you can stick your head in there too if you want to. You have a beautiful home. Thank you so, so much. Thank you for this. Yeah. Of course, yeah. And then this is like, kind of like our dinette that drops down into a guest bed or a couch. Um, Hi, puppy. And then here we actually have a composting toilet and a bathroom. Nice. <laughs> I got this vehicle back in July. Uh, but I've been nomadic for about five years. Good for you. My partner and I started hitchhiking in backpacks five years ago, worked our way into a minivan, then worked our way into a conversion van, and now to have this space is such a blessing. Usually we just, we don't really have too much that's refrigerated, and if we do, um, we eat it very quickly. I have two coolers underneath the bed, and then I have a bunch of dry stuff, a bunch of dry foods in here. What we did here is, um, Next time we go home, my dad's going to create a butcher block countertop oh, nice. for us. Um, but I, I love to cook as well. So underneath here, we have our, our camp chef stove. And then this just pulls out like this. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And then we have the, you know, the propane oven and stove. And then the propane is underneath here. Such a cool setup. Thank you, Daisy, for showing us your home. And after that, we continue to walk. And then we went to Starbucks to get iced coffees. Thank you. Two coffees in one day. These girls are a bad influence. <laughs> and now I'm gonna have them both follow me to this traffic today. And now I'm gonna have them both follow me to Sunset Cliffs, which is a place where you could just park and look out at the beautiful ocean and you can park there pretty much all day can't overnight park in the parking lot, but you can park there all day, so it's just a nice place to relax. Go ahead. Go ahead. Playing the go-ahead game. I'm trying not to get too far ahead because they're following me. Go! You helped. Well, you gotta try to turn right there. Once we got to Sunset Cliffs, we just hung out and talked and shared tips from van life, and it was awesome. Then we decided to take a long walk, and it was great, except for by the time I got back, I felt super winded, and I was ready for a nap. It was a nice rest, and when I woke up, it was beautiful outside, and the day dipped right into the sunset. Now we're headed to dinner, but there's a bit of traffic up here at Sunset Cliffs, so just waiting and the reason there's a lot of traffic is because a lot of people come up here for the beautiful sunset but now that it's over or almost over people are trying to get out of here that's okay we're going to get empanadas <laughs> we, we, we found this market by accident and it was a lucky accident thank you so adriana found us a empanada spot and we all met up there including my local friend angel but when we got there we were not aware that this place is a food hall called the liberty market and it's got almost 30 different places to eat and drink so i was like a kid on christmas morning It was very difficult to make a decision on what to eat, but we ended up at Piranha Empanadas Argentinas, and they had 13 different options, but we each got one empanada. I got the corn, and it came with this delicious white sauce. So, so good. 
the best ones I've ever had. And then for our main meal, we went back over to the Latin Chef, which is Peruvian cuisine, and got a bunch of different items and shared a lot of it. Plus, you know, we had to get Alfajoras cookies. That was a treat as well. This is like a shortbread cookie with dulce de leche in the middle. And this one in particular had a little touch of anise or fennel that just made it extra tasty. And even though that was so much food, Sandra wanted to treat us to some Belgian waffles with Nutella from Mathilde de Belgique. I'm probably butchering that name. But the waffles were delicious. And by the end of the night, we were all happily full and wrapped it up to go find parking for the night. Stay tuned for more adventures with my new nomad friends. We meet up for breakfast and also today's episode is one in today's video you're going to meet two in stop driving right by me we also get a and what started get out of my face just breakfast ends up being us that doesn't even make sense there's a bit of traffic of over here over here <laughs> Snack time. Snack time.